Michigan is home to over 11,000 inland lakes, some of which are man-made, some are natural, and some are a bit of both. Hi, I'm Amber from the Mason County Historical Society located in Ludington, Michigan. Today, we're going to take a brief look at the history of Hamlin Lake. Hamlin Lake is a coastal river mouth lake separated from Lake Michigan by a small strip of land which is now the Ludington State Park. After the last ice age, when a glacier receded, the ice gouged out the soil which helped in creating the original smaller lake called Big Sobble Lake. The larger lake that we see today is possible with the creation of the dam in 1856 by lumberman Charles Mears. This brought the lake level up by approximately 12 to 15 feet over a course of several years. With the development of the logging industry, a small village started to grow near the mill. Myers was later elected to the Michigan Senate in 1860, and the name Big Sabo Lake was changed to Hamlin in honor of Hannibal Hamlin, Myers' choice for Abraham Lincoln's vice president. By the late 1800s, Hamlin Lake quickly became a favorite tourist destination, and after the construction of the concrete dam, in 1913, a large number of resorts and lodges were built along the lake. Sport fishing and boat rentals quickly became important for the local economy. Hamlin Township built a life-saving station between the State Park Beach House and Big Point Sowell in 1875. With the advancement of the dummy train in the early 1900s and ferries going across the lake, tourists came from Chicago and other cities along the railroad route, increasing the popularity of Hamlin Lake. In 1936, the Ludington State Park was created and helped in preserving the lake and the dunes. The area surrounding Hamlin Township did not develop into a village, but the area did develop into year-round residency and is currently home to more than 3,000 people. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more of our videos, please click the bell icon and subscribe to get notified when we post a new video.